My friends, my friends, my friends. Welcome back to Pretty Effing Curious. My name is Scott, I'm Pretty Effing Curious, if you haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> so today we're actually starting a little adventure. I was told that while I'm here, if there is a chance that I could go to the full moon party that happens in this small little island in the in the bay called um, Copenhagen, that I should go. So guess what? I'm going. We um, tried to get a plane ticket to go out there, but there was no flights going like before the actual party happened. So what I had to do was book a bus that goes to Bangkok and then book a bus from there that goes to the port and then book a ferry from the port to the island. So it's gonna be a really long day. I think the whole travel time is about 22 hours. But hey man, we're gonna do it. We're gonna go, and we're gonna check it out, and we're gonna have some fun. So I'm gonna go down to the 7-Eleven and grab some drinks for the first bus ride. Should be pretty nice, I hope. Here, I'll give you a little view of the street while I'm walking. So. The bar's already open. I think it's only like 10.30. You gotta go to the bar and get some drinks. Hey man, if I was back home, it'd be 10.30 at night, so there you go. I guess that works out. So we're just going to go down here to the 7 and grab a couple things, and then uh, probably try to get a taxi or something, maybe a motorbike, because I'm supposed to be there by 11.30, and they said that sometimes it leaves early and sometimes it leaves late, and it's getting kind of close to that, so we're just, we're just going to go ahead and, yeah, it's almost 11, so go ahead and get a couple drinks. And then see if I can't get one of these motorbikes to get me to go down there for like a dollar, dollar fifty. All right. Well, that's it for now. Uh, we'll update you when we get to the bus station. All right. See you. Is that a good uh, Good morning. <laughs> Fantastic. How are you doing? Yeah, yeah, very good. It's very warm. I'm sweating already. I had to get a taxi to go down to where I pick up the minibus. It's going the wrong way, but hopefully we end up going the right way. So this is what a typical uh, motorbike taxi ride looks like in Pattaya. You put a helmet on me. <laughs> it's a little jingy. <laughs> A little bit better. <laughs> Muscle shirts can help. <laughs> so one of the things that I heard is that um, you can tell the tourists because they uh, hold on to the bike really tight. <laughs> but I've ridden on lots of motorcycles, so I don't, I don't need to hold on. It's alright. Well. to go down pretty often to go eat when I uh, take lunch at like 2 in the morning. It's pretty good. Let's see. Look at this walk across the street and then here's one of the intersections I was talking about earlier. There's little stop signs. People just kind of nudge in and do whatever and <laughs> We'll make it. Uh, <laughs> cool old dude. I'd give him the double that. And he said, no, no. We're going to do 100. So, give him 100, but we're also, it seems like we're going the wrong way. I 
to check my phone. Try to see if I can walk to around where I'm supposed to be. I'm not really sure what that's at, but of course, there's always these um, motorbike taxis. <laughs> if I would have taken over one of those, <laughs> uh, I can't believe that he got the directions wrong twice, man. That was crazy. But as you can probably hear, it is a lot worse traffic here than it was over in Pattaya. I think it's probably worse than in Phuket as well. But of course it's Bangkok, so, you know. If there's anything cool to see, I'll try to capture it. Otherwise, I mean, we're just gonna walk to like a cafe or sell a place to get some lunch and chill out for maybe like an hour or an hour and a half before we have to go to the next place. Hi, Lusa. <laughs> All right. Looks like we're at like the main bus uh, or something. Check this out. Yeah, you can sit here and get buses to places that I don't know. I don't know what it says, so. We'll, we'll figure it out. It says I have to walk for like a half an hour to get to. Sorry, that was, that was me dropping the mic because I don't know where the clip's at. I keep losing them when I go through like security checkpoints. I don't know if they go through the machine and like they get magnetized or something. Or maybe I'm just um, losing my mind. I think I'm losing my mind. Here we go. If you want to see some um, skyscrapers or some work on skyscrapers, I'm sure there's gonna be some cool uh, stuff to look at once I get once I get closer to downtown. Man, that bus! Let's just let's just have a little experience um, feedback of that mini bus ride. It sucked. I mean, granted, it was six dollars, so yeah, you get what you pay for. But when I first got on the bus, I had one of the bucket seats, kind of like a captain's chair and then more people were gonna get on the bus. So being the nice guy that I am, I decided to get up and move to the back of the bus. What a bad, bad decision that was. In the back of the bus, it's like a bench seat and they try to cram as many people on that bench seat as possible. So instead of having a nice bucket seat by myself, I was cramped in between like three other people. It was squished against the uh, side of the window. And then I went to open my drink here and I looked up, and as you probably saw from when I showed you the inside of the bus, they don't allow any food or drinks in a bus. Like what? For three hours? Hey, that, oh, that was loud. So that was a little disappointing. On the uh, on the way back to Pattaya, after I go to the island, we might try a better bus. And then we'll compare the two. I'm sure the better bus is gonna be better because you know it's better. But 
we'll compare them. All right, so for now, that's it. I'm gonna try to walk and uh, get to like a cafe or something. So I'll see you in a minute or so. <laughs> so it's a lot further than what I thought it was. Gotta get a bike. So this is just a little journey of us on a bike. doing motorbike stuff. This is going to be a long slide ever. You see that? It says 82. Alright, pause. I wasn't totally finished, but he decided he wanted to go anyway, so there we go. <laughs> so we found a little cafe that's close to the place where we had to pick up the bus, so that's where I uh, it's going. It's another 58. So I think we'll pause for a minute. Nope, never mind. Guy knows what he's doing. It's like we're just gonna go around this. <laughs> yeah, motorbikes. Man, I don't even know where I was or what I was supposed to be. Is that some main bus terminal or something? I uh, had the map on driving instead of walking. So I said 25 minutes. I'm like, ah, I can walk 25 minutes. And I changed it to walk in and said two hours. I'm like, nope. <laughs> Don't worry, we're just in the wrong lane of traffic. <laughs> perfectly safe. I was going to say legal, but I don't think so. <laughs> but but safe, yeah, probably. More, more than likely. Side view mirrors. The bane of every motorcyclist. I actually hit my hand on him a couple of times. Not so fun. Oh, he made it though. Yeah, I think all the big buildings are over there. Okay, back to Mario Kart. Yes, me! Mario! <laughs> oh, cool, look at this thing. Oh, I wonder if I got it. Did I get it? That's super cool. There's like army guys all around here. Sure, if it's like where the station. Oh, there's a bunch of police buses. So I think that's probably going to be it for the ride, and then um, we'll just give you an update whenever we get to the place we're stopping at. So I will see you then. Look, mom, no hands. <laughs>